My name is Robert, or the Dead Pixel, and today is a different kind of video. Um, I picked up an Alienware Area 51 computer for about two years ago, and it's from 2007. It's actually this one sitting behind me. Um, it has a, it's not even a Core i3, i5, or i7. It's a Q6700. Original clock speed is 2.66, and I have it overclocked at 3.2 on air. It has a Hyper 212 EVO, it has 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 660 Ti, and then a 650. Um, it originally came with two GTX 260s running in SLI. I no longer have those anymore because I decided to upgrade. Um, it originally came with 4 gigs of RAM, it has 8 now. And this computer I consider kind of like my streaming computer now. It runs from my Elgato to my actual computer. So streaming and recording is so much easier now instead of not putting strain on my other CPU. And it's about 10 years old now, so I decided why not benchmark it in 2017 because it still does fairly well in games that I used to play on here, but I've, I've built myself a new computer. So let's see how this stacks up to 2017. The specifications of this computer is a Q6700 clocked at 3.2 GHz instead of 2.66, 8 GB of DDR2 RAM, an EVGA GTX 660 Ti for the win edition, an EVGA GTX 650, a Hyper 212 EVO to keep that 6700 cool, and an EVGA 850 watt power supply unit. The games we're going to be benchmarking today is Modern Warfare the original, Counter Strike Global Offensive, Overwatch, and Dirt 3. And here's the game for Modern Warfare. Um, as you can see, it's it's an older game, so I mean, it's not really gonna take as much processing power or or GPU power, especially with it having dual video cards in it. Um, it's running at about 90 frames, and it jumps up to about 130, 160 around there. But overall, if if you just want to like have a computer to play older games on, I mean, this would be the computer, but it also will run um, more AAA games than you actually would think. Um, but you can see a gameplay. I mean, it's not stuttering. It's not doing anything like that'll really degrade performance here. Now on to Dirt 3. Dirt 3 is universally used for benchmarking, and as you can see, it's really not bad. It's running at about 60 frames on average 50 50 60 frames um the lowest it'll drop down to is probably about 40 and i mean i like racing games myself and i like having good view so if i need to turn or not to hit anybody it's good to have higher frames i mean dirt 3 is a fairly kind of new game i mean dirt 4 just came out but dirt 3 is a good benchmarking game along with rise of the tomb raider which i don't have so i can't benchmark it but here is Dirt 3. Now on to Overwatch, a lot of people's, one of people's favorite games. I mean, I like playing it from here and there just to play it. It's fun to have, fun to play. But um, on this older system, this game coming out in late 2016, um, being nine years later and it's still being able to run Overwatch fairly well. About probably the lowest it would run is about 30 and the highest I saw it ran was about 63 64 but on average you should get about 40 to 50 frames and it's very very playable actually and I enjoy playing this game without stuttering at all now on to everyone's favorite esports title counter-strike global offensive I play this game regularly on a daily basis so I'm used to the frames, and I think about the max is about 133, 147, somewhere around there. Uh, the lowest it got to is about 16 FPS, but that's when it started, um, it actually started the game up. But any modern computer should really be able to play this. I, hell, I used to have a old um, compact computer that could run this game, but all the settings were on low, but um, all the games that I ran were on high. So the graphical settings for these were very very good and i estimating this computer would probably be about four or five hundred dollars six hundred dollars at max now but that's csgo for you though 
All right, and here are the benchmarks. Modern Warfare came out to 91 frames per second for minimum. The maximum was 167, and the average FPS was about 133 on the Dirt 3. The minimum was 49, the maximum was 64, and on average you would get about 53 frames per second. Overwatch was 29, so that's kind of like Xbox, not to bash on Xbox. Uh, the max was 63, but on average you'll get about 50 frames per second. And on the CSGO, the minimum was 16, like I said, the max was 130, and the average frames per second you would get during playing this game is about 62 frames per second on this computer, and that's actually not that bad. All these games are playable. And now on to some really, really nice B-roll of this computer. This is the wrap up guys. You saw all the benchmarks, you saw everything in it. If you want to build a low end gaming system, I'm pretty sure you can build this for probably around $500. It's probably not the best, you can get more for $500, but if you're just looking for something for entry gaming, Q6700, a Hyper 212 Evo, a 660 Ti 650, an 850 watt power supply, and 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM, which DDR2 is very expensive. Put that there. But it's not a bad system, and I actually sometimes use it for gaming, but for the most part, I use it for streaming and recording now, so I have no Elgato set up to this computer. But that has been the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Probably I might, I might actually end up doing more videos like these, because these are actually fun to do. But as always, guys, this is Robert at the Dead Pixel. Peace out.